welcome back to our second video of this travel series. In today's video we are going to Magic Kingdom. This is our first day here and it's early. What time is it? It is quarter to nine. Magic Kingdom opened at 8am this morning. I managed to get us a, what's it called, a virtual queue space for the new Tron ride which we are both so excited for. We are boarding group 64. I am literally <laughs> taking charge of everything like that in this trip everybody so hopefully for all you Disney fans I'll do you all proud because I love it. And also we are going to take a very special ride into Magic Kingdom this morning. We are going to book a minivan this way from the Four Seasons Orlando Resort. We're able to be dropped off right at the front of Magic Kingdom. Four Seasons does have its own transportation service to all of the Disney parks but it does drop you off at the Ticket and Transportation Centre which will involve getting the ferry boat or monorail over to the park. And because we're boarding Group 64, I don't know how quickly that's going to come up so I just don't want any delays. I want to get into the park nice and early and just take an easy day around Magic Kingdom because that is the only thing today that we have to do at a time that someone else tells us. Other than that, we're just going with the flow. We're going to get breakfast in the park as well, aren't we? Yeah, I'm really hungry. Yeah, <laughs> starving. So that is going to be Will's first experience of Disney food. I cannot wait. And also, just a quick one on the minivan. If you wanted to book one, there is an app called Lyft, L-Y-F-T, which I tried to set up this morning with my mobile number, but it wasn't accepting my mobile because of my carrier. I'm with Vodafone. Um, so we tried Will's. Obviously, they're both British mobile numbers, and that worked just fine. So I'm O2, and here it's put me over to T-Mobile, yeah. which I'm guessing America likes. We're guessing that's what it is. So, guys, come with us for our first day of magic. Will is just setting up our bag for the park today, and he has just seen... I've just seen dollars for the first time. <laughs> what do you think? Can you it's smell like it? Monopoly money. I'm loving it. <laughs> How cool is that, though? Yeah, their money is the just simple so things. Cool. Like, I've never seen a dollar before. <laughs> no, I've seen a dollar. I think someone bought one back from me for a, from a holiday once, like a family member or something. I can't remember. It was years ago. It's yes. in a book somewhere. <laughs> um, this lift is so plush. I've never seen a lift like it. It's like double height. Disney baby, here we go. Woo! Oh, by the way guys, what do you think of my outfit today? I've got my new Birkenstock Boston's on. Apparently they're very comfortable. They are suede. <laughs> However, we're gonna move with that. And I don't think there's any water rides we're gonna go on today. So hopefully, they're not gonna get ruined. I live here. <laughs> I live here. Is that SJP? I live here. <laughs> Did you tell me, boy, that all of these are designed to look like the fireworks? And these banisters are full of hidden Mickeys. Hidden Mickey. Where? Hey, yeah. Will's just asked me, who am I? And to film him. <laughs> who are you? <laughs> What's I don't even know her name. Oh, my spirit animal, Lottie from Princess and the Frog. <laughs> I never get anything I wish for. <laughs> Look at this place. It's just stunning. Just while we wait for the minivan, we have just taken a quick step outside to see the hotel in all its glory. It's just absolutely beautiful. The sun is still kind of coming up and Will's getting a few kickies. God, I better check actually how long the um, minivan is away. So when we arrived yesterday at the airport, I was obsessed with the big American cars, in particular a Chevrolet Suburban. They are huge and they look so nice. Just found out on Charlie's Lift app. Guys, Chevrolet the minivan Suburban. is a Chevrolet Suburban. I am so excited. Should I take a walk over? I want to move to America and get a Chevrolet Suburban. A minivan one? No. Oh. All black, baby. Me and Charlie have just realised the sun doesn't hit the adult pool area in the morning. So we definitely think that's an afternoon visit. So maybe, boy, we can head to parks in the morning. 
and if we do our little half days we can we can come back and have a have a chill because i do want to have some chill out time while we're here ah, i can't believe we're here you to me are everything the sweetest song that i could sing oh baby oh baby Morning, Chase. Uh, who's ready for magic? We are so ready. Today is our first day. First so, day? Yeah. Well, <laughs> let's make it the most magical day of your life. Thank you so much. We, we well, hope so. Chase is my first time here. First time? Yeah. Wow. Well, so I want to look for some place warm all the time, palm trees. Minivan complete. Did you enjoy it, the minivan? Yeah. I love. <laughs> oh I just feel like I'm smiling so much because I just love American people. Well, I thought it was so enthusiastic. I thought it was Chase, but you were saying Chase. He and said I was like, Chase. Did he? And then I just said to him when I got out of the car, "Is it Chase or Chase?" And he went, "Chase, C H A S E." Oh, it doesn't tell me anything. Yeah, because I'm Charlie and it's C H, <laughs> not Charlotte. <laughs> and he said he's not a morning person. Could have fooled me. We've got bright blue skies which I'm so happy about, and we are on our way to the Magic Kingdom. Here we go. Lovely, thank you. Here we go. Oh my God. This is like next level, isn't it? It is next level. Wow. It's just amazing, isn't it? We are about to turn the corner and see the castle for the first time this trip. You excited, boy? Oh yeah. my god. Oh, oh my. my god. <laughs> It's huge. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? So we have just had our first photo of the trip with a Disney photo pass photographer. What did you think of the photographer? Oh, she was lovely. Do you remember I did this in Paris <laughs> as well? I'm walking like this. Yeah, just in awe. So oh, we are. Tinkerbell's little wire. Yeah, there it is. We are going to head over to get some breakfast at hopefully Sleepy Hollow because that is in my itinerary today and I to want get a, Mickey Waffle. a Sleepy Hollow breakfast. So let's go. This is the menu at Sleepy Hollow refreshments. There's a funnel cake, a fresh fruit waffle sandwich, and we are going for the Mickey Waffle with strawberries, powdered sugar, and whipped cream. We have the Mickey Waffles. Don't drop it. <laughs> Do not drop it. Can you see? <laughs> oh, yes. Right, let's try one of these straws. <laughs> I really hope they taste really sweety and not healthy. Oh, Jesus, yeah, they are sweet. Oh, bloody hell, that's good. Is it? Mm. Have a bit of whipped cream with it. And also, guys, when you get your tray and you go to sit down, there are breakfast syrups sitting there like, as if um, like they were ketchup or something. You can grab them for your meal. I definitely want the syrup. Just been on Space Mountain 
Oh my god, I was not expecting that. It's so dark in there and it proper chucks you around. I feel exhausted after it. But yeah, it was quite scary and I love a ride, but yeah, that, I found that one quite scary. And we also went on the Little Mermaid thing. What's that called, boy? The Little Mermaid? I'm just gonna call it the Little Mermaid. We're just gonna call it the Little Mermaid. That, now you'll know from our Disney, Disneyland vlogs in Paris, that we actually really enjoyed the older, more nostalgic ones. So that was really lovely as well. Yeah. And our Q, Q slot, are we calling it a slot? Our virtual queue. Our virtual queue, our slot is coming up. So we're just gonna head over to that way, even though apparently we're right next to it. Okay, Charlie wants to go on the people mover while we are waiting. Thank you. This amazes me, they have to walk all day. <laughs> this is the TTA Blue Line for traders. Transfer to Green and Red Line. Don't worry, your express train keeps on rolling through the future. Wazowski has brought in some real monsters of comedy. Whether you have one eye or I just got the notification to say that our boarding group has been called boarding group 64 we have one hour from this this point to use our virtual queue but we've been lingering around the ride we've been ling we've been lingering so up until just a moment ago it was calling up until group 63 so we knew we're going to be called any moment and just before we switch this camera on it said group 64 so let's do it to Friars Nook because um, they had the 
hot dog with macaroni cheese and bacon and potato tots and we thought that is what we want. <laughs> that is what we want from lunch <laughs> that today. That is what we want from lunch today. <laughs> so we've come down, grabbed two of them, um, a Fanta and a Coke. Look at the colour. A bit colour. concerned though because we can't, we haven't got a knife and fork. Shall I go and have a look? Yes please. Okay. <laughs> That lunch was so, so nice. I love tots. So when I saw tots were on the menu, I couldn't bloody wait. They were so nice. We have found our way onto It's a Small World. See behind me. Well, that light's better, isn't it? Maybe I should walk sideways. We didn't get to go on this when we was in Disneyland Paris earlier this year because it was closed. But yeah, apparently this is a really, no, oh, well, I mean, everyone knows it's a really, should we say, original Disney ride. Yes, um, yes. So, yeah, I'm excited to experience it, but I know it's like a no-frill, <laughs> a no-frill ride. It's going to be a bit um, different to Tron. Oh, does it go as fast as Tron? Almost. I've managed to go on the best ride I've ever been on and the worst ride I've ever been on. Charlie said we don't want to be negative but we're just not going to do that one again. <laughs> <laughs> Guys it is what it is, it's like a museum of what used to Disney be. used to be but um, I just find it surprising how it's still so popular but that's okay. People still want to go on it. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just not one of them. Tiana's new attraction is well under progress. I 
I love it. I cannot wait to see what they do with this ride. I think this is going to fit this area so well as well, which is really nice. Don't you think, bro? It's very yeah. like, on theme. I wonder if they're going to keep her ground on top of the... Yeah, I hope so. I think it looks really cool. Tiana's foods. Oh. Right, let's go and have a little look over here at Big Thunder. Cheeky 30-minute queue. Not too bad. Charlie just said he was going to film that ride and I was like no 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 because I'm scared about the camera. What's that ride called that we just went on? Uh, it's called Big Thunder Mountain. Big Thunder Mountain. He said no this is tame. I said no. The one we went on in Paris was absolutely not tame. Oh god move your kids out my way. Was absolutely not tame. And he's like no 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 this isn't like Paris. It's Paris not is. like, it's not Boy, like Paris. My god I was hanging on to Charlie's wrist to like to try and protect the camera. <laughs> Hopefully well, Charlie's like, Woo! <laughs> Hopefully the footage was worth it. I was just saying to Charlie, I love how wild this hotel has made their exterior look. 
Um, obviously it's meant to be a bit more rural, that is their design. But of course it's Disney, so it's not wild or out of control at all. It's very organised chaos. So guys, something I did want to touch on, you all know I'm a vapour, and Walt Disney Parks are all now smoke free. Now I've not been here before, so I don't know when that came into effect, but Paris isn't like that. It has smoking areas, but the parks here, their smoking areas are outside, like physically outside of the park, which is really annoying. So just something to bear in mind for all you vapors or smokers that you cannot smoke inside the parks. what we found. Sniff that woman out anywhere. <laughs> you know where we're heading. We have made it up to the Coca-Cola rooftop bar. Very on brand for us. Very on brand for us, <laughs> we love a Coke. I have got, we've actually both gone for slush puppies. Are they called slush puppies they're called, here? They're called Icy. Icy's. Yeah. I've got a vanilla coat because you can add flavours to it. The float behind the counter recommended cherry vanilla, but I just fancied a bit of vanilla tonight. And you have gone for? I've gone for blue raspberry Icy, which has always been a thing. Do you want to try mine? Oh my god. That tastes like a melted ice lolly. Yeah, that's so good. That's, that's so good. Oh, this is what, these oh are what um, Tango Ice Plus yeah. used to taste like years ago before they probably started taking sugar, sugar out of it. Yeah. <laughs> so I have decided I need to learn the money because the man behind the counter made a very valid point. He said the thing is with American money, it doesn't say the value on it. It says it in words, it doesn't say it in numbers. So I thought <laughs> I'll get all of our change out of my bag and I'm going to learn it. So here it goes. I got quarters, five cents. What's that? I've got one cent and I've got a dime. What is a dime? I'm saying it's... 50p or 10p. 10 cents. Guys, we have got 10 cents. Quarters, 25 cents. 5 cents. And loads of 1 cents. <laughs> I've mastered the American currency. So we're heading now to Blaze Pizza. Is it actually called Blaze Pizza? I don't know yeah. why I do these introductions. I've probably asked you for confirmation <laughs> on location names about 10 times in this vlog so far. You should maybe be a private Disney tour guide. Maybe you should. On high pace. And Charlie said he remembers when he ate here before that the food was incredible, but it was quite a chaotic environment. So I can't, it's not gonna be a nice relaxing meal then, no? I don't know, we'll see. There is a queue. Wait, is this a queue to get a table? No, it's that subway. So you go in and you all, you get your food straight around oh, the tray. Oh, you just go and find a table. You go and find a table, okay. yeah. of Blaze Pizza that was a really nice and I think really well priced dinner. It we, wasn't chaotic. And it, it was, was busy, it, it wasn't chaotic. Yeah, it wasn't chaotic, it was good. I think the system worked really well with the buzzer. They actually brought it out to our table. So the buzzers must also be uh, like trackers. So yeah. She called it a tracker. Oh, did she? But I think it's just the buzzer, I don't know. Because it didn't buzz. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't think ahead this morning and look into the Four Seasons bus schedule. So to get us home from Disney Springs. Yeah, to get us home from Disney Springs. So spoke to a couple of people, which led us to the Welcome Center, which is located just sort of opposite Zara in the center of Disney Springs, ish center ish of Disney Springs. To which we found out the resort doesn't actually offer transportation from to and from the springs, only the parks, which is fine. Um, 
it is, it's, it's a hard adjustment when you have stayed in a Disney resort before and you've experienced the bus services with what they offer. But we are going to grab an Uber home instead, which is absolutely fine. Because one point I would add on the buses is Disney buses no longer offer transportation from the parks to Disney Springs either, according to the person we spoke to earlier on today. We ended up going to Wilderness Lodge and then from there on to Disney Springs in a bus. But that also stopped to the Contemporary Resort and the bus was very, very full. So I just feel like I'm going to... the game on their buses. No, I feel like I'm just going to prefer getting direct transport. Ubers, minivans, of course, it is an additional expense, but in our experience so far, I think I will prefer it. So we are back from Disney Springs. We did end up getting the Uber, and um, it was so quick, I didn't realize we were so close to. Um, our hotel yeah it was quite close wasn't yeah. it? we got picked up from the west side pickup point there's a west and an east and will very cleverly chose the west because it is the closer to the hotel saves money could have saved a dollar and time but today has been a super super jam-packed day and we really hope that you all have enjoyed this video because it i think it's going to have been a long one so yeah, I hope you Yeah, you said that earlier too. you thought this was going to be a long one, didn't you? Yeah. We'll see. It's 8.37. God, it's 8.37. But remember to us, that's 9, 10, 11, 12. It's one thirty-seven. So we're doing well, but we are tired. Yeah, we are tired. So we've got to stay up for as long as we can, but I don't think it's going to be much longer. <laughs> we're going to hit the sack. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel to see future videos from this series. See you in the next one. See you in the next one. Bye, Bye guys. guys.